hi all myself belsi and my colleague ramya will present you the topic prefix and suffix prefixes what is prefix prefixes or change the meaning of the base or root word and make it a new word an affix attached to the beginning of a verb base or phrase and serving to produce a derivative word or any inflectional form prefixes are added to the beginning of the base word fix is a base word pre is a beginning b we add the prefix for example and like and say when i add prefix re to the word it means do again repeat rewrite so the contractor informed the painter to repaint the building the teacher said the student rewrite the composition when i add prefix and to the word it means not unhappy not happy unhappy the student was unhappy because the trip was cancelled please unplug the computer when the computer is not in use when i add prefix pre to a word it means before preview pre plan the crew were attending the preview show before release team please prepare a pre plan chart for the upcoming event when i add prefix miss to a word it means wrong mismatch misunderstanding there is a mismatch between the received amount and the paid amount like the couple had a small misunderstanding which led to a big fight when i add prefix this to a word it means opposite to dislike opposite to like disagree opposite to agree the over expressive presenter made the audience to dislike the whole presentation the players team totally disagree with the new rules there are many prefixes that do not negate the original meaning of the root word but rather alter it in unique ways such as expressing the relationship of time place or manner for an example when i add co prefix to a word it means together co worker co pilot my co worker supported me in my hard times the co pilot effort saved the passenger from the accident to be occurred when i add mid prefix mid to a word it means middle mid of midway the students had regular mid term exams as a revision for their final exam we are in midway to complete the competition benefits and then prefixes are a powerful tool in an english how to use them prefixes will help you strengthen your vocabulary and develop the ability to vary in your writing and conversation hyphen will help you become a better writer and then modify the meaning of a word examples of the prefixes the test was self administered the test was said but administered it means a test with instruction that you can do the test by yourself without self it means if someone administered the test not by yourself this way prefixes help us to develop ourselves for more for a more example like my ex lover was a computer program my children believe i am all knowing we should re elect the mayor let's conduct a meta analysis of the research it seems to me you are expressing anti intellectual sentiment some people might consider skipping the parade on american we will take a vacation in mid august these are the example for the prefixes to develop ourselves and then vocabulary up next uh, ramya to present 
suffixes. Thank you, Bilzi. Uh, this is Ramya from Hope Bay team. Hope everyone is safe and good. Today we are going to discuss about suffixes. Today's agenda. First, we are going to see about root words and then suffixes and then types of suffixes and then examples of suffixes and then importance of suffixes and then affixes. Before entering into the topic, first we have to know what is root word or base word. As name implies is a word part from which new word can grow or new word can be created by adding prefixes and suffixes. Here has some example, play, slow, drive, place, beauty. Why it's called root word means it stand by its own as a word. Next, we're going to see about suffixes. Here, suff means below or after. Fix means to attach. As a name implies, it's a group of letters which is added at the end of the base word. For example, I have taken friendship to explain about suffixes. Here, friend is a base word where ship is a group of letters added at the base word. Then it creates a new, new, uh, new word called friendship. You can say Gokul value selvis friendship very much. Next, we are going to see about types of suffixes. There are two types of suffixes. One is inflectional suffixes and the other one is derivational suffixes. First, we are going to see about inflectional suffixes. When the suffix added at the end of the base word, it changes the grammatical property of a word. For example, I have taken Shavuntala attached the important forms while submitting a ticket in the co-pilot and, and then Priya uploaded the documents in the HR, floor, HR folder. Here, uh, attached, if you take attached as an example, attached is a base word where ED is added at the end of the base word. It creates a new word called attached, right? It's a past tense of attach. Hence, it changes the grammatical property of a word. Hence, it is called inflectional suffixes. Next, we are going to see about derivational suffixes. Here, when the suffix added at the end of the base word, it creates a new word. Basically, it derives a new word from the original root word. For example, I have taken the forms in the MS folder is easily accessible for the teammates. And the other one, you should be careful while setting up new forms. If you take careful as an example, here care is a base word where fuel is added at the end of the base word. It creates a new word called careful, right? So it's a derivational suffixes. Next, we are going to see about some of the examples. Here is the first example. When we add Y at the end of the base word, it means full of. Here I have taken healthy as an example. Currently, we are having healthy competition between the teams. Here, if you say something is healthy, uh, you are saying that it's full of health, right? Here's the next example. When we add ly at the end of the base word, it means to do in a certain way. Here, I have taken quickly as an example. Puja's kind nature quickly wants Belsi's friendship. Here is the next example. When we add full at the end of the base word, it means full of. Here I have taken skillful as an example. Soon Parvati became skillful in answering client queries. If you say something, someone is skillful, you are saying he or she uh, is a um, skill per skilled person. Here is the next example. Means without. Here I have taken fearless as an example. Rima is a bold and fearless person in handling new tasks or projects. If you are saying someone is fearless, you are saying that he or she has no fear while doing a particular job. Here is the next example. When we add er at the end of the base word, it means it creates a comparative sentence or uh, it indicates someone who doing the particular work. Here I have taken foster as an example. 
Niveta is faster than Ramya in doing reconciliation. Here you are comparing Niveta with Ramya. So it creates a comparative sentence. Here is the next example. When we add ness at the end of the base word, it means a state or quality. Here I have taken kindness as an example. Radhi is known to all for her kindness. If you take kindness as an example, it indicates the quality of a person. Next, we are going to see about what are the importance of suffixes. First, the main purpose of a suffix is to show what class of word it is, whether it's noun or adjective or verb or adverb. Suffixes are often used to change the word class of a word. For example, I have taken successful here. Two is a successful employee. Here, the successful indicates or describes a noun, right? So it forms adjective. When we add ly at the end of the base word, it creates a word called successfully. Meena successfully completed her one year in customer support. Here, the successfully indicates uh, a verb or action. Hence, it's form adverb. We can also create comparative and superlative forms by adding er or est at the end of the base word. Here I have taken smart as an example. When we add er at the end of the base word, it creates a word called smarter. Neela is smarter than Ram Ramya in handling client queries. Here it uh, Neela is compared with Ramya, right? It creates a comparative sentence. And then if you, uh, if you add est at the end of the base word, it creates a word called smartest. Neela is the smartest person in the team. It creates a superlative forms. And then we are going to discuss about benefits of using suffixes. By knowing suffixes, we can uh, uh, create a new words, right? So it expands our vocabulary. It helps to make a sentence more concise or short. Uh, it helps to learn how to construct or deconstruct words and alter a word's grammar. For example, you can convert nouns to verb, nouns to adjectives, or adjectives to adverb. Next, we are going to see about word formation by adding ION, ITY at the end of the base word, it forms noun. By adding IVE, FUL, able at the end of the base word, uh, it creates adjective. When we add ly at the end of the base word, it creates adverb. Here I have taken success as an example. If you add full at the end of the base word, it creates a new word called successful, which is adjective. If you add ly at the end of the base word, it creates a new word called successfully, which is adverb. When we add ed at the end of the base word, it creates a word called succeed. It's uh, it's verb. Next, we are going to see about affixes. Affixes is a group of letters which is added at the beginning of the base word as well as end of the base word. Here I have taken outstanding as an example. Stand is a base word where out is a, a word with group of letter which is added at the beginning of the base word and ing is a group of letters which is added at the end of the base word. She is known for her outstanding performance. By learning prefixes and suffixes, we can enhance our vocabulary. We can improvise our writing skills. Hope everyone got an idea about, uh, about prefixes and suffixes and enjoy the session. Thank you.